So with your shared hosting account with Hostinger, you get a free SSL certificate. But the catch is, is that it's a free SSL certificate for one website. Each additional website that you add on to your account, it doesn't come with a free SSL certificate. You actually have to pay Hostinger a small fee to have them install it for you and then register it and re-register it every 90 days. Now, what most web hosts do for any type of blog oriented website is that they use a service called Let's Encrypt. And then through Let's Encrypt, they get the free SSL certificate, but then they have to install it on your website and then manage it by registering it and re-registering it every 90 days, which is just how SSL certificates work. So if you don't wanna pay an additional fee to Hostinger and you just wanna set it up yourself, in this tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how to use a service called the Zero SSL and how to properly install a Zero SSL certificate on your Hostinger website. Now, do I recommend doing this? Absolutely not. I definitely suggest that you just pay the small fee to Hostinger to have an SSL certificate properly installed because they're going to manage it on the back end or register it and re-register it for you every 90 days. So you can focus on the important stuff like creating content for your website, running paid ads, etc. But if you really want to know how to install an SSL certificate completely for free on your hosting or website, this video is for you. Make sure to check the links in the description for timestamps and resources mentioned in this video. So let's begin. Let's jump over here to a zero SSL. So you're going to need to log in and to do that, you need to create a free account. Very simple. Now, once you create a free account, you're going to be looking at a dashboard that is similar to this. And so right over here, you can click on the dashboard. It'll take you to your dashboard page right down here. You can create a new certificate and you can also manage your certificates by clicking on the certificate tab right over here. All right. So let's quickly just set up a brand new certificate. So I'll click on new certificate right over here. Enter in the domain name that you want to add a certificate for. Click on next step. Now over here, you have a one year certificate, which you have to pay for, or you can have the free 90 day certificate. So we'll select the 90 day certificate, click next then auto generate CSR. Okay. So that's going to be your private key. That's important for later. Just leave it as is. And there you go right down here. Finalize your order. We want free. So we're going to have this selected and then click on next. And step. there you go. So now it's time to verify your website. Next is to verify our ownership over this website. So you have a few different options. You have email verification, you have a DNS, or you have HTTP file upload. I prefer the last way to, because it's honestly the simplest way. So the first thing you need to do is download the authentication file right there. Save it to your desktop or wherever you can find it. Okay. And so next we have to just follow the instructions. So we need to upload it to uh, our folder within our domain name. So it needs to be in a folder called well-known and then it needs to be in this folder called PK, PKI validation. Then you can check over here to make sure that you did it correctly. So it should say 404 not found because we haven't uploaded it. So let's go ahead and do that. So first thing, first thing, jump back over to Hostinger. Now make sure that you're in the domain name that you want to edit. And now we want to look for something called file manager. So let's scroll down here, right here. Let's go ahead and open up file manager. All right. So right here we have public HTML. So we have a few different controls within uh, file manager. So over here, you can add a new file, you can add a new folder, you can search for things and you can upload files. Those are the commands that you're just going to need to use over here. Now, if we open up public HTML, we're going to see a few different folders. Now, you're, if you already installed WordPress on your website, you should have WP admin, WP content, WP includes. And if you're like, well, I don't see this well-known folder. Like I'm supposed to upload it to something called well-known, not a problem. So just take this little part right there, copy it, and then come over here to hosting manager, then create a new folder and then copy and paste it in. Boom. And then click create. <laughs> that's it. And so that's how you create a folder. Now, where does the file need to go? It needs to go into PKI validation. So let's come over back here. Let's open up this. Now you should have another folder inside called PKI validation. Same process to do that. You have to create a new folder. It's that simple. Okay. So you technically good could come over here when you're in public HTML and highlight this whole thing and it should work correctly and create the subfolder PKI validation within well-known, but just make sure this is how it works. So now you want to click on PKI validation. There's no files in this folder. So, now let's add a file. So let's go ahead, upload files. We select files, select the verification and click on upload. And 
there you go that's it okay so now we can come back over here check our work click on this link make sure it's all correct so let's go ahead and do that boom perfect so we are good to go when you're ready go ahead and click on the next step now we need to verify our domain so click on the button that says verify domain now you should get an error it should say we are unable to verify your uploaded file and the reason is invalid caa record so let's do a quick search for this right here i'll copy and paste the search search for this help zero zero ssl let's open it up and what it says right here we have two options so we remove all ca records from your domain names which we're not going to do or just add in a new ca record with sectigo whatever that is as the value so we're going to do the second option because we're not going to delete a bunch of ca records from the domain all right so what do we do next very simple don't worry <laughs> jump back over here to your hosting account now you want to find something that says like dns zone dns editor something along those lines Let's scroll down and there we go. Okay, so we have a DNS zone editor. So go ahead and open this up. And right over here are where all your records are. Okay, so our two options are either to jump in here and delete all of these CAA records, which we're not going to do, or just add in one record. So obviously adding in one record is a lot easier. So we're gonna, gonna go ahead and do that. So the type, click the drop down. What do we need? Boom, CA record right there. Name, leave it as is. Flag, we'll put it as a zero. Tag option, issue, CA domain name. Boom, Sectigo, and then the TTL, put in 3600. Zero, zero. And then click on add record. Okay, DNS record successfully added. And that is it. Now, depending on your structure of your website, you may want to add in an additional record for subdomains as well as wildcards. So we can do that with this one right here. Okay, issue wild, Sectigo again. So again, just go back to your zone editor, and go through the same process. Okay, come down here, click on CA, name, nothing, <laughs> zero or flag, zero. Choose option, issue wild. The CA domain name is right here, Sectigo. We'll just take that again jump over here, copy and paste that in. And then again, the zone is 3600. So we'll copy and paste that or TTL and copy and paste that in. There you go and click on add record and that's it. Now let's navigate back to zero SSL and let's verify our domain name. So go to HTTP file upload. We already upload this file. So click on next step. Now we can verify our domain name. So let's go ahead and do that. Fantastic. So it says, congratulations, your domain has been verified. Now we can download our certificate and install it for our domain name. Now, if you're still getting that error, I would just say, wait, okay? Things take a little bit of time to propagate. Give it like half an hour, come back, and everything should work as expected. All right, everyone. So the time has finally come to download the certificate and install it on our website. So to get started, just click the download certificate button right here. And you just want to save it somewhere where you can find it easily. So I'm going to just save it to my desktop. Now we want to navigate back to our hosting or plan and then go into the again, go into the domain name that you're managing. So I'm going to manage this. And now you want to find somewhere where it says SSL. So I'm going to do control find SSL. And right down here, we have the SSL button, the X out of that. All right, let's go over here and open it up. And I'm importing an SSL. So you can install an SSL if you already have SSL certificates from Hostinger, but that's not what we're doing. We're importing a completely free SSL. So click on import SSL, make sure it's the domain name that we're working with that you set up with 00 SSL. And now you just have to fill in the keys over here. Very simple. Now, let me X out of this. Okay, so let's take a quick look at our folder. Now, the first thing I want you to do is make sure to open up and then extract all, extract. Okay, now open up this file. Now, these are security certificates and this is a dot .key file. So hosting was a little bit weird in that you can't just upload it. You have to actually open it up and copy and paste it in. You do that by opening everything up with Notepad. So if we open up over here, this is the CA bundle. So again, just matches CA bundle, private keys, certificate, etc. 
So you should have three files. You have you should have a bundle, certificate, and the private key. If you don't have a private key, that means you most likely changed your password at some point in this tutorial video, which means you're gonna have to issue a completely brand new certificate because it's tied to the password that you set, okay? So don't start the process, then log out, and then forget your password and try and log in. <laughs> then you're gonna have to do it all over again. All right, so anyways, CA bundle, go over here, go with open with, and then make sure to open with notepad and click on open again. And you wanna highlight the entire thing, including begin certificate, not just the words, everything. So we'll take this, copy this in, go over to see a bundle right here and paste it in. There you go. All right, so now we wanna add in the certificate. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me open this up again. We have the certificate right there. Open with, open with notepad, right, yep. Again, same process, copy and paste, and there we go. The certificate goes right there. And then finally, the private key. So let's go ahead and do that. So open with. All right, so I have Notepad. You may have to click on more apps, find where it says Notepad. You wanna open it with Notepad. All right, and then we have begin RSA private key. There we go, copy and paste, and copy and paste that in, boom. And that's it. So go ahead and click on install SSL. And it should say SSL is successfully installed. So you now have installed and we have automatically forced HTTPS on your domain name. So that means that uh, anyone who tries to visit your website, they're going to be forced through the secure connection. They can't visit your website anymore with HTTP. And finally, I just want to mention that these SSL certificates do expire in 90 days. So you want to make sure just to log in periodically to zero SSL and under expiring soon, it will tell you what certificates are expiring. So what happens when an SSL certificate expires? It just means you have to issue, get issued a new certificate and re-upload the process and just follow it over again, okay? And so this is why hosting or charges a small fee because they do this for you on your behalf so you don't have to. And this is how they kind of keep their costs really low because they give you the option whether or not you want to do it for free or they can do it for you. Uh, with other web posts, they'll do it for you typically, but that's why other web posts are a little bit more expensive. So anyways, right down here, we have renew. Click on renew and then just go through renew and or renew certificate, then follow the steps to create a brand new certificate, which again is the same exact process that I walked you through in this tutorial video. And that's it. So every 90 days, you have to get issued a new certificate. Not too complicated, takes a minute or two of time, but it could be a little annoying, but it's something that you have to do if you wanna go with a completely free uh, SSL certificate instead of paying Hostinger the small fee for them to manage it for you. Anyways, that is it for this tutorial. All right, everyone, that's it for this tutorial video on how to set up an SSL certificate for your hosting or website. As I said in the introduction, I definitely don't recommend doing this. I definitely would just pay the small fee to Hostinger because it's just easier that way. Like they just install it, it's done properly. They register it and re-register it every 90 days so you don't have to. It's really convenient and definitely worth the small fee that they charge. Uh, but again, like if you really wanna do it yourself, well, now you know how to do it. Anyways, my name is David from WebStateCreditPro.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.